Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. It is February the 7th and what a really long day and it's hard because on Tuesdays we don't have library till the afternoon. So the students really don't get that special break. We do breaks throughout the day, we do brain breaks, we move around, but it's really hard just to kind of have the whole morning without a break and then to come right back after recess and get right back to work. But they did a really great job. We got a lot accomplished and we're just moving right along. So it's really, really exciting to see. The reason I wanted to make a video today is because if you stay with me for math, we're kind of moving right along in our unit three. We're actually now in investigation four. And in this investigation, we're working on subtraction strategies as well as continuing our addition strategy work. So we're definitely gonna be focusing more on subtraction. We're not going to forget about addition, but they're also throwing in working on time and telling time to the nearest minute and also elapsed time. Elapsed time is not gonna come probably for at least a week or two, but I just wanna let you know. So we're gonna be working on time here in the classroom in third grade they're required to tell time to the nearest minute. So even if you have an analog clock at home, not a digital, cause that's cheating. If you have an analog clock at home, you can just ask your student what time it is and then kind of focusing on that hour hand and that minute hand and working with the student in order to tell time to the nearest minute because we're going to be doing different activities in here but I do stop throughout the day and I'll just say what time is it what time is it and to get all the students to have more practice with looking at that analog clock on my computer I have a little digital clock at the bottom so I have to like maybe I'm gonna have to black that out so that they don't see it because I forgot about that today until somebody's like oh it's this time and they didn't even turn around and look at the clock, so I thought that was pretty funny. So they're using their resources. Um, but yes, we're gonna be splitting our time between telling time and then also subtraction. So today what I wanted to talk to you about is the homework that we're going to have. It's called, we're starting something that's called distance riddles. So again, it's asking the students to think about the difference between two different numbers. So the homework tonight is more on distance riddles, and I just kinda wanna show you what we did today in class. Hopefully it's not too hard for you to see. I'm gonna try to walk you through everything. What's gonna be really important is, you know, you seeing what I'm doing, not necessarily the riddle that's on the board, since there's gonna be um, homework on it today. So what we're asking, again, these are distance riddles, and they're just kind of figuring out what numbers can, can this riddle be. We're trying to figure out what numbers we can be. So this first riddle says, the difference between 100 and me is 10. What numbers can I be? So the differences between 100 and me is 10. We did this one in class today. So the students are thinking, okay, what's the difference and what are the two different options? So what I really like about the way they set this up is that they gave you a number line. So here is my 100 right smack in the middle. And it's saying the difference between 100 and me is 10. So if I wanna go this way on my number line, the difference is going to be 10. And if I go this way on the number line, my difference is going to be 10. So this is what I wanted the students to think about. 100, this side is, we're adding, 100 plus 10 equals what? And that would be 110. And then 100 minus 10, because we're going backwards on the number line. So if we go backwards, we're subtracting. If we go forwards, we're adding. So 100 minus 10 would equal 90. So using a number line is a really easy way for you to kind of think about it. So the students can definitely use this and again, making sure the number that they tell you is 100, and then they can make their jumps and see what the difference is going to be. So you're always gonna have the middle number, at, which is 100 at this point, and then they're gonna tell you what the difference is, which is 10. So difference, when you think about it, is a clue word, you're gonna think subtraction. But in this case, you can go either way, because on the number line, there's 10 numbers below 100, there's also 10 numbers after 100. So minusing, and well, subtracting, and adding. Another way that we can look at this is on a number line. So if we are, excuse me, on a 200s chart, you're not gonna be able to see the whole thing just because I can't scroll down, but this is a 200s chart. So the, num the biggest number that you can see here is 130. So I'm gonna circle my 100, because that's the number that they gave me on the 100s chart. And again, our difference is 10. So we could just use our 200s chart and either count 10 backwards or 10 forwards or we could just kind of use it and say, well, I know on the side here, I noticed that all my numbers were counting by 10s, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. So all I need to do is count backwards 10, so that would get me to 90, and then all I have to do is count forwards 10, and that would get me to 110. So if you have a 100 chart or a 100 chart at home, you can use this as well, this strategy. So you can use the number line, or you can use the 100 chart. 
Another way you can do it is just by simply adding and subtracting. So again, either one way we're going to be subtracting or the other way we're going to be adding. So let me delete this here so I have a clear board. And if I do that, again, I'm going to take 100 and I'm going, whoops, 100 and I want to add 10. Okay, so then I know that this is 110. Or I can take 100 and I can subtract 10. And here we go. I know I have to do some borrowing here. So I'm going to start. I know I can't take, well, I can do zero from zero, but I'm going to have to borrow from this one. So this one becomes a 10. Oops, and of course you're going to do this. Ah, I don't have enough room. This one would become a 10. Ay, ay, ay. This is what happens in class, too, when this happens. Don't give me enough room to actually write. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Okay, let's try again. So if we do, maybe I'll do it down here. So 100 minus 10. Here we go. So I can do the 0 minus 0, but I can't do the 0 minus 1. So I'm going to cross this out, make him a 10, because I'm borrowing 10 from my hundreds place. So 10 minus 1 is 90. So then I know on my number line, this one's going to be 90, and over here is going to be 110. So there are many different ways for you to be able to figure out this riddle, whatever works best for your student. Again, you can use the number line, you can do simple addition and subtraction, or you can use a hundreds chart or a two hundreds chart. I do have two hundreds charts here. I do just need to copy them for students. Today they seem to really just enjoy doing the addition subtraction or thinking about it on a number line. So again, if anybody needs some at home, please let me know. I'm more than happy to make some copies and, and send them home with your, um, with your child so you can have them at home to help with homework. So this is just an example of what is for homework tonight. I know they're going to ask you to find the two numbers. You have to find the difference between the two numbers, and they're going to ask you for these equations as well. So what is the addition equation that you're using, and what is the subtraction that you're going to be using as well? We did some of these in class today on page 168 and 169. So if this isn't helping you, you can always turn back to those pages and see what you did as well because it's the same exact thing that we did today that is for homework. So again, homework is page 170, so take a look at that. Also, um, report cards went home today. I know I made a little message in the video yesterday, but I don't think everybody saw it. So you, take ev you keep everything. Um, in the report card at home and then just make sure that you sign the report card envelope and you send that back with your child tomorrow. I dropped my pen. Good thing there's two of them. So yeah, so hope everybody has a great night. If you have any questions about math homework, let me know. Any questions about homework, um, about the report cards, let me know. Again, all I need back is that yellow envelope signed. Have a great night and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.